Hey, wait. We're with you. Indeed. You have proven worthy of great responsibility, Master Kratos. Please forgive me if I've been abrupt or at all impertinent of late. The loss of Madame Neithog weighed heavily upon me, even before the grave uncertainties of this Garm episode. I do sincerely apologize for my rude demeanor during this time. I did not notice. You are being polite, of course. My demeanor was impudent, borderline cruel. Surely this was a source of some discomfort for you. No. My conversational wounds run deep then, and you would hide the scars. I swear, Master Kratos, I will make it up to you someday. Should I have anything else for you, you'll be the first to know. Oh, I'm sorry, that's it. Yeah, that's it. We're done. Let's go away now. Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Van Arn? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is there? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered, and there is much I owe her. everyone stay alert I don't like this brother Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. 
So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so, so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor and friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even... Mimirs. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freyr and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. How did that happen? An ambush. Their presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin, and if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past it. You don't disappoint. Continue down this path, and you'll find their den. Good luck. <sighs> Don't shoot any boars! <laughs> you think he's really forgiving me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old mm -hmm. swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. <gasps> Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and <laughs> good. That's cool as <laughs> huh? Okay, okay. <laughs> Point taken. Come on! Come on! 
different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfheim, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Hmm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. Going for more loot, huh? I saw a forge back at Freyr's camp. Has Brock been helping them out this whole time? Ah, you haven't met Lunda yet. An old contemporary of the Huldra brothers. She serves as Freyr's blacksmith, keeping his team armed and outfitted. Oh, another legendary blacksmith? I bet she has some good stories. Take caution, Atreus. What? Why? She is quite... friendly. <laughs> oh, nonsense. The lad's far too young for her taste. Uh, <laughs> what?
know, lad. This excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods, either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Hildas Vini said Freyr and Bigvir were captured. Who's Bigvir? He's a Light Elf, a former scholar exiled from Alfheim with his wife, Bela. She may be their best warrior. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a Dark Elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. Hey, now you're barricades. Aye, not a good sign. They've pushed farther into the jungle since our last visit.
once told us Ragnarok begins when... But Odin still believes. That's gotta be why the Einherjar stole the moon. He's still trying to avoid Ragnarok. Or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract his enemies. Yeah. Or that, I guess. I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. <clears throat> uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves, supremely entertaining as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenar Yard played a part according to Skull and Hati's shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? A bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try that first. But besides Hildesvini and Rowe, <laughs> who else is part of Freyr's army? Not much army, really. Although Beergirl was a soldier, <laughs> once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. Traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Fitting. 
there she is again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. Okay, here we go. Where'd they all go? Wait, there's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. That's gotta be it. This is definitely an ambush. Yes. Oh, oh, <laughs> Careful, brother. You're covered in bike Behind you!
Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers. <laughs> Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey, hurry! She's getting away! Come on! that you know what we're doing right now all of this it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in skull and hati shrine the wolves are back in vanaheim we're rescuing the moon yes i remember the prophecy so doesn't it make you worried everything we're doing now happened in the yonar shrine remember our agreement Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Whoa, what is that? A wyvern! Nasty yeah. beast! Careful, lad! Fire! Watch out! Let's go! 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 Let's go!
Cold. Is this? It's from Elon. Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Ugh. I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. straight into Ragnarok. Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing. like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Slot. 
They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Remember that altar we saw when we first got here? I think that's where we're supposed to use it. <laughs> Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hildas Pini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Wow. This place changes that night. A lot. No less humid, unfortunately.